going to make what some might feel is a bold statement, but when you hear me out, I think you're going to agree that there has never been a methodology that systematically enabled you to learn and apply the notes along the fingerboard of the guitar. I'll ask students and colleagues, uh, how did you learn the upper notes, the upper positions along the neck of the guitar? And the answer is always the same. Well, I, I used scales, I learned scales, and that taught me the notes on the fingerboard. And then in applying it to repertoire, uh, I'd search and play. You know, they, they need a D in the seventh position to play a D and then, oh, there it is, I found the D. It's just not efficient. It's not conducive to establishing good habits for reading. The goal is to establish instant recognition of all the notes along the fingerboard. You see a note on the staff, you instantly recognize what position and where it is that you have to play it. I know students develop this in the open position, they need to develop that in all positions along the neck and you need materials to be able to establish that type of skill. To achieve this, we need more than just scale patterns, because that's exactly what they are, are patterns. Once the student recognizes the pattern, they stop reading. In addition to scales, we also need to take harmonic function and arpeggiate the harmonic progression for that specific key. And then taking this information and putting it together in a musical context. Rhythmic complexity, counterpoint, and phrasing all the musical elements come together to help the student develop habits of security with this positional specific information. Book three of the Shear Method, Learning the Fingerboard, does exactly that. This is the third in the series that Aaron Shear wrote before passing in 2008. The first was the Shear Method, Classic Guitar Foundations, followed by book two, Classic Guitar Developments. And now, book three, the Shear Method, Learning the Fingerboard. We begin Book 3 by organizing the scales into five basic forms. Then we apply them starting in the second position with guitar-friendly keys, both major and minor. Each key and each subsequent position We'll introduce the scale, apply it in arpeggiation with the key's 1-4-5 chord progression, and then apply it in three positional specific two-part inventions. The first invention is easy, so the student can begin to establish habits of security with the new information. Then the second and third invention keep raising the bar with musical and rhythmic complexity. All 87 inventions including the additional multi-positional repertoire of the master's duets, are encoded in TNT2 software. You can set the tempo to your liking without changing the pitch, and play back the guitar part of your choice to practice developing security in that area of the neck. This book is perfect for the student that wants to ascend the neck and develop instant recognition along the fingerboard, or the veteran guitarist that simply wants to sharpen their positional sight reading skills. Alan Hirsch has composed 87 really enjoyable inventions and arranged works by Telemann, CPE Bach, and Handel, all recorded in TNT2 technology. Along with videos and the Sheer Online Supplement, Learning the Fingerboard is not just a book, but a media experience. What a great gift Aaron has given us and now all guitarists will benefit too.